I see you. No, yeah. We totally can't figure out why our allergies are acting up. Do you have any ideas, husband? No, but the snow is really starting to throw me off. <laughs> oh well, that's pretty. Bye. <laughs>
and be with her God and people were just drawn to her. So she was an example by her life. She didn't have any great writing. She's not a doctor of the church. And yet she was so beloved as an example just for her extraordinary light in faith. And so when we're lost, um, I was talking about that the other day, right? When we're lost, go to Jesus, go to church. So maybe you're away at college and you haven't connected with a church yet. And that can be a problem. Maybe the churches are different where you are, or maybe it's hard to find a Roman Catholic church. Maybe you can find a Byzantine right Catholic church. Um, your church probably has a Catholic chaplain assigned to it. If not, use that phone book or call your call your priest back home. See if he has a recommendation. He might have a friend who is actually the pastor at a church here nearby. You don't know. So reach out. Don't sit there and feel lonely. The least you can do is try and connect with other Catholics on campus. Maybe do evening prayer. Maybe start a rosary group, right? You need to be connecting with other Catholics. So many young adults leave the faith. And it may not be really that they're questioning the faith. It's once you step away, once you miss mass once, right? It's easier to miss mass twice. And then it becomes a habit, doesn't it? And it's harder to go back because now you know, you know you've hurt God by not going. It's the same as if you've ignored your mom's text messages multiple times, right? It's harder to call her and just, cause do you apologize first or do you just talk like you never did it? So. Try not to get into those bad habits, friends. It's early in the school year, so if you've done it before, make a fresh start. Reach out to friends, even if you're in high school, find a youth group near you. If the youth group near you isn't strong in their faith, find another one. You can find one, even if it's an online group of friends. You can reach out, be strong in your faith. Hey, maybe you'll find you have friends in that rosary group at church, and maybe their faith is stronger than people your age. It doesn't necessarily have to be people your age. You can make friends with with people of any age, right? So reach out, connect to a Catholic community somewhere. You can find it and be strong in your faith. And maybe you're the one that's the light for someone else like St. Kateri. And maybe you're the one that has the strong friend that, that keeps you going. I don't know friends, but reach out and build community wherever you are, right? And if you get lost, go back to the church, go back to Jesus, you'll be home. And like St. Kateri here, this is an image of what she might have looked like. They said at her death, the scars all went away and she was beautiful. She was always beautiful on the inside, friends. But at her death, everyone could see just how truly beautiful she was as a daughter of the Most High God. So friends, pray for me. I'm praying for you. If you liked this video, please like, share, subscribe, ring the bell so that you'll be notified of any new content. And I'll try and keep you up to date on my vacation pilgrimage. <laughs> Bye friends.